Welcome to Niger Ankle News. In today's news, Ibadan explosion. Peter Obi visits Governor Makinde, says Nigeria under Tinubu is unacceptable. Niger Ankle News reporter has reported how an explosion that rocked the Dejo Oyelese close Adei Avenue, Bodija area of Ibadan, Oyo State Capital, on January 16, left at least five persons dead with over 70 others injured and over 50 houses burnt. The presidential candidate of the Labour Party, LP, in the 2023 general elections, Peter Obi, on Monday visited Governor Sheyi Makinde of Oyo State over the Ibadan explosion. Nanja Ankor News reported how an explosion that rocked the Dejo Oyelese close at the Avenue, Bodija, area of Ibadan. Oyo state capital on January 16 left at least five persons dead with over 70 others injured and over 50 houses burnt. Governor Makinde has said that preliminary investigation revealed that the explosion was caused by explosives stored by illegal miners occupying a house in the area. Niger Ankle News reporter had also reported that Governor Makinde had delivered the report on the explosion to President Bola Tinubu at the Aso Rock Villa in Abuja. Tinubu had earlier ordered the arrest and prosecution of the illegal miners who were reportedly responsible for the deadly explosion. Addressing journalists on Monday after his visit to Governor Makinde, Obi said that the way governance was going, particularly at the federal level, was not acceptable. According to the former governor of Anambra State, elections are over and governance is the key thing, stressing that what is required is cutting the cost of governance, especially at the federal level. Obi said that the President Bola Tinubu led Nigerian government should prioritize critical areas like education, health, and pulling Nigerians out of poverty. Obi, who was in the company of human rights activists Aisha Yusuf and Dele Farotimi, said, Today, elections are over. Governance is the key thing. And what is required is that for me in particular, is that we need to cut the cost of governance, especially at the federal level. It is unacceptable the way it is going. We need to prioritize critical areas like education, health, and pulling people out of poverty. Meanwhile, Nanja Anko News earlier reported that Governor Makinde, while speaking during Obi's visit, said that the former vice president and 2023 presidential candidate of the People's Democratic Party, PDP, Atiko Abubakar, had earlier called nor sent him a message to commensurate with him and the people of his state over the explosion. That is the news for now. Remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel and click the notification bell to get notifications whenever a video is uploaded.